I'm curious about applying that to Islam. I know this is outside of the question mm -hmm. about the New Testament, but Stephen J. Shoemaker, who's written much on Mary um, in Christianity, he's also engaged mm. in like the death of a prophet. He just came out with a publication. He's caught a lot of crap for it, arguing for the Quran being kind of a little later in the seventh century mm -hmm. rather than it mm -hmm. being something that Uthman and whatnot, like early on. Oh, I see. Yeah. And that he, he, he might think that uh, carbon dating could be later. And uh, I, I haven't read the book. I don't know his reasonings, yeah, but he gets a lot. I don't, I don't know lot. about that specifically. Um, what I do know about, because I was very interested in it and studied it, it was the, the famous palimpsest that was just right. found. Uh, and the palimpsest, it, for people who don't know what that is, is when you have a, you have parchment or a papyrus and you, get a pumice stone and you scrape the ink off and then write over it. But you can use techniques now with modern technology to recover the scraped off stuff. Uh, and that's called a palimpsest. So we find a hidden manuscript underneath an existing manuscript. And there's many examples of this. How dare you say that? How dare you say that? But the big prize was recently we found a Quran uh, that has a text form that is closer to modern Quran uh, that was composed, I can't remember when that was written down, but it's much later. But underneath it is another version of the Quran, which is unfortunately substantially different. It has a lot of variant readings. It does not agree with the modern Quran that gets published and sent around. But the big prize was recently we found a Quran uh, that has a text form that is closer to modern Quran uh, that was composed, I can't remember when that was written down, but it's much later. But underneath it is another version of the Quran, which is unfortunately substantially different. It has a lot of variant readings. It does not agree with the modern Quran that gets published and sent around. <laughs> uh, but that, that underlying ink would presumably date to the the time of the, the papyrus or I think this was vellum so I think it was um, 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 animal skin rather than papyrus but yeah. uh, but in any case the the date of the making of the, the 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 material is probably pretty close to the date of the first ink on it and so when that was carbon dated it overlapped uh, the date of when it was claimed to have been written right so like the 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 range of dates I think is like a hundred year span spans even before when we think the Quran was written and then spans after. I can't remember the range of dates, what, how far later they go or whatever. Um, and I think that's entirely plausible. So we might actually have like a, a really, really early version of the Quran that's very close to the original Quran. It's just that it is a variant reading text, so it doesn't agree with the modern Quran. Mm. How dare you say that? Uh, that? I think that's the bigger problem with it rather than the fact of dating it. Um, as to the idea of trying to argue that, that the Quran was written down or invented, let's say the text was invented or written later, I, I don't know how one would prove that with the evidence that we have available. So, uh, but I, like I said, I haven't read that book, so I can't. Yeah, really I haven't read it either, and I might be misinformed on even how I'm approaching this, but mm -hmm. I'm just now getting into as a death of a prophet, and I'm interested in that because he is showing what we're doing in New Testament studies and how we are like ripping it apart. And I don't yeah. mean it in a derogatory sense. I mean like no, critically. No, I know exactly what you mean. Where uh, they're just, he's saying like, if we approach those techniques and methodologies to the Quran, to the, he, he, we got a bigger problem. Yeah, in some there's ways been a lot of Christ resistance to doing that. So yeah. a good example is the fact that I can go on Wikipedia and go list of New Testament papyri. Uh, the fact that I can go to the Swanson editions and find, you know, line by line variant readings. I can go to the Allen text and find an apparatus that says all the variant readings. So there's meticulous, like massive amount of personnel time is spent on collating all these manuscripts, finding all the variant readings and honestly admitting to them in the, you know, the margins of uh, critical editions. I'm not aware of this ever having really been done with the Quran, right? Like the, I think largely because no one really wants to know <laughs> what will happen when you do this. Uh, and uh, I think that's largely the reason. Partly also, I think uh, the, the Quranic uh, studies is underfunded uh, by mm -hmm. the kinds of universities that would actually do this sort of work. Um, but also the fact that the, the Quran, the manuscripts where you would look for them are in places that are really not friendly to archeologists, right? So, so we have a hard time finding these things. And also like because of corrupt governments and poverty and things like that, libraries get looted, things disappear. So it's, it's been harder to preserve manuscripts and have this large manuscript base for the Quran than we had for the New Testament. Um, 
now I'm just t touching the tip of the iceberg and I'm not an expert in this, but I'm just talking about what I have seen and not seen in the field yet. And I haven't seen any kind of work that's comparable to the manuscript uh, collation and a critical edition that we do now with the New Testament. That being done with the Quran, I haven't seen that done yet. Whatever Allah says, whatever the Prophet says, we believe in it and we affirm it without thinking too deeply.